guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm showing you how i make my homemade chicken casserole i am using the yoder's italian all natural shredded cheese for this i use two packs and you will need two cans of the chicken breast like you would use to make like chicken salad or anything else and you will also need two cans of cream of chicken this is just the Campbell's kind. You can use whatever brand you like. It doesn't have to be Campbell's brand. And you will need a stuffing of your choice. I'm using chicken because it's chicken casserole that I'm making. So, yeah. And since I'm making quite a bit, you will also need a spoon, fork, and a bowl. But since I'm making quite a bit, that's why I have two cans of everything else. And you will need a dish of your choice to place it in. So, first of all, I'm going to take the stuffing out of the box, pour it into the bowl. Now, you will see that I did not film the part where I heated some water up in a bowl and added a teaspoon or so of butter to melt in it. So, yes, and I about messed it up off camera myself. So, but yes, I did go ahead and place some water in a bowl and all that and while that was heating up I went ahead and opened both my cans of chicken and this was horrible because it took forever to do because my can opener sucks I used to have an electric one and it doesn't work right still so that really really sucks and sorry if you hear a uh, haven in the background she's right by me as I'm doing this <laughs> But yes, I'm just opening both cans of chicken. Once that is done, after I get the top off, I then go and drain the water from the chicken. As you guys can see, that's what takes me so long, is I drain my water from my chicken. Make I always make sure I get all of the water out. That's why I take so long. Um, but yes... Once I've done that, I just poured it into the pan and then started opening the other can while my stuffing water was still heating up in the microwave with the butter in it. Now I just move the pan in front of me and I take that fork and I just start smashing it all up into the pan to make sure it is nice and shredded like. You could be bougie, I guess you would say, and use a knife or something, but what I did, it is just so much easier. You just pour it in your pan like I did and then I took a fork and just started smashing it into a bunch of shredded like pieces and made sure there were no big clumps of chicken or anything.
Now we are moving on to the stuffing. As you can see, my water is finished. And sorry you guys can't hardly see it, but I was kind of running out of room to move things. But I gently, a little bit at a time, start pouring that warm heated water with the butter in it into my stuffing and stirring it around because I usually have a bad tendency to add too much water in the stuffing and it makes the stuffing really sloshy and watery and it just tastes really nasty to me. So I just add a little bit at a time here as you can see till I get it to the right consistency that I would like it to be. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take one can of the cream of chicken and take that whole can and pour it right on top of that shredded chicken that we just smashed up in the pan. And I just spread this out. And as you can see, I end up taking the other can a little bit later and putting it out as well. I'm doing this because where this canned chicken is kind of a little bit dry when it cooks, this helps keep it a little bit more moisture and a lot more like flavorful too. So I just take this whole can and just spread it all out and evenly as best as I can onto the chicken. Next, I grab some of the Italian cheese and I just open it and I was having a little bit of trouble opening it. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's like 1130 at night right now, but I open it and I take some of that cheese because I'm layering it kind of like a lasagna. So I go ahead and just take some of that cheese and just spread it on top of that cream of chicken just to give an extra layer of cheese because I like a lot of cheese in my dishes when it comes to anything with cheese. <laughs> so yeah, you can add as little or as much cheese as you want. Now I'm just taking that stuffing and just pouring it right on top of that cheese. Now this part was just a tad bit tricky but I made it work so yes you will then take your stuffing and just spread it all out on top of that cheese. Next, I'm going in with the second can of cream of chicken, and I use the whole can of this as well, and I pour it on top of that stuffing like I did on the bottom layer, and I just spread it all out and evenly over the whole entire top part of the stuffing. Now I just take what's left of that other bag of cheese and I just put it on top of that layer of cream of chicken and then I end up opening the other bag as well to give it a lot more cheese because it barely had any cheese as you guys could see at this point. Um, like I said you can add as little or as much cheese as you like to your liking. Um, I ended up adding all the cheese as you guys seen. Oh I'm so sorry. 
Anyway, <laughs> but as I was saying, I ended up adding both bags of cheese, as you can see. And once I got it all spread out, I like to evenly just pat it out and just make sure it's really nice into the stuffing and everything that was flavorful like the cream of chicken i like to make sure it gets patted down in there pretty good but not too hard i just gently do this so once that is done i don't know if you guys can see but i preheated my oven to 350 and i go ahead and just take the pan and sit it on the bottom shelf of the oven Now here is the midway point of the dish. I let it start cooking till it starts boiling a little bit. And then I turn my oven off and put it on low broil. And then I go ahead and just place the casserole on the top rack to start broiling and get nice and just to get a little bit of brownness to it. And as you guys can see, here was the final result and it was so good i ended up eating two plates and joseph is actually going to be taking some to work tomorrow on monday the 5th so i really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and i hope you guys have a wonderful day bye I will